Well, let's talk to uh, Professor Stefano Passerini, who's an expert in electrochemical energy storage and a senior advisor at the Austrian Institute of Technology. Professor, welcome. Good to see you. For those of us who are not distinguished scientists like you, just explain why this is such a big deal, and particularly better than lithium-ion batteries. Well, the great advantage of sodium-ion batteries is uh, mostly on, on uh, cost. It has to be say, said that right now, actually, lithium-ion batteries are so uh, cheap in the sense that uh, sodium-ion batteries will, uh, cannot make it through fully. But in the future, as soon as the electromobility and the, will grow further, that we will again go in shortage of lithium-ion battery materials, and then sodium-ion batteries will become more advantageous. Now, the additionally. Sorry yeah. to interrupt you. I just want to talk about um, the safety aspect of this because you will well know that there are concerns about battery storage. In fact, we've reported on this program the concerns about batteries catching fire uh, and exploding. What are the safety concerns associated with sodium, uh, sodium ion batteries in particular and what are the challenges of dealing with this? Well, actually, from the safety point of view, sodium ion batteries uh, might be uh, or are expected to be much safer than lithium ion batteries. One of the reasons is that uh, there is no copper inside, which is the source of, of uh, some problems. And the other reason is that they can be shipped actually fully discharged. So this, uh, this is actually making them much safer than lithium ion batteries during shipment because. Uh, lithium-ion batteries need to be at least 30% uh, state of charge, otherwise they might uh, have big problems. I can see why um, people like you are excited about this development, but how long before this is uh, scaled up uh, and available much more widely? I mentioned before in my, my first answer, actually, the reason, the, the reason why sodium-ion batteries are not uh, uh, widely commercialized is that uh, lithium-ion batteries are very cheap right now. I mean, you can buy lithium-ion batteries in China for like 70 euros per kilowatt hour or even less, depending on the kind. And this is obviously slowing the, the entrance in the market of a new technology. It's, it's difficult to enter a market when the leading technology is so low cost. But in the future, uh, lithium-ion batteries will increase in cost again, and then sodium-ion batteries will deeply penetrate, especially in the um, stationary storage market, but also uh, light-duty vehicles and, and uh, motorcycles and so on. Sodium-ion batteries are noted for their performance in uh, low temperatures, aren't they? I mean, how, how does this enhance the overall efficiency and the reliability of the power station? Well, uh, this is definitely an advantage of sodium ion batteries. Uh, you might remember, I mean, people will remember what happened at the last winter in North America when uh, in, in all the news were shown cars, electric cars, which were just out of power, okay, in the middle of streets. Uh, sodium ion batteries will, can guarantee better performance during winter, and this is also pretty important for known electromotive application where you can have maybe some stationary storage and you don't really need to uh, carefully control the temperature of the of the batteries what part so this, this, yeah what part will this play do you think um, in the global shift towards renewable energy and sustainable power storage solutions well the uh, if you consider that the, the electric vehicle market is growing very fast, but also the stationary storage is growing at more or less at the same pace, 100% uh, 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 in, increase every year in the last uh, couple of years, two or three years, in Europe as well as in China. Um, so sodium ion batteries with their respected lower cost with respect to lithium can keep this, uh, this uh, uh, increase uh, uh, going, okay, and then uh, this and having a, a large energy storage, but even if small units delocalized in um, 
many different places, this can definitely help the um, transition to renewable energy because they can optimize the use of uh, renewable energy uh, sources. Professor, good to see you. Thank you very much indeed for your uh, time, uh, Professor Stefano Passerini.